Hey guys, how, how are you all doing today? Today I'm at Wygate Hill, um, which is in the North Downs, nearby Box Hill, which I went a couple of weeks ago. If you haven't seen that video already, make sure you click on the, you know, the link up there and watch it before you watch this video. I know when I started this channel, I hope to be traveling overseas more, but unfortunately, due to current circumstances, I can't really do that. So, gotta make best use of the situation and travel around London as much as I can. And yeah, thought I'd come to Wygate Hill today. Um, I plan to do the Wygate Hill walk, I think it's called, which is supposed to take two hours in total. And obviously, I'm taking you guys with me. So we've just arrived at Wygate Fort, which was built at the same time as Box Hill Fort. Um, it was all part of the London Defence Scheme when Britain and France hated each other. I mean, they still kind of do, but it was a lot worse back in those days. So we're in the middle of the fort right now, and it's a bit spooky, not gonna lie. Um, like, let me show you something. So look at this, it's just like a random open space where like, I don't know, I guess it was an old storage space that's just been left open. Like, I'd, I'd hate to come around this area at night, who knows what kind of stuff you'll see. It's weird what you can find in abandoned buildings. So sadly, during World War II, an American B-17 plane crashed on Wygate Hill and this wooden wing commemorates the place where it crashed. In fact, when the plane crashed, it took out the trees, leaving this sort of clear space in the tree line. Quite a sad story, really. So I'm currently at the Ingers English, English Memorial on top of Wygate Hill. Um, this memorial was given to Wygate Hill by Lieutenant Inglis in 1908. Um, it was originally used as a water fountain for the horses that used to come along this path. But the most amazing feature about this memorial is the actual ceiling itself. Look at that. So I'm at the top of Wygate Hill right now and I don't know if you can tell but the views are amazing like look at that. You, I never thought you could get views like this in Surrey but apparently you can. Um, to just in that direction you can see Leaf Hill which is the largest, well I say largest, tallest hill in Surrey at about 230 meters. I know it's not that high compared to all these other places in like Scotland and Lake District but it's the best we can do here. So I was walking along and I came across these cows. Are they cows? Are they bulls? I don't even know, but they're just randomly lying on the side of the path. I don't know if they're supposed to be part of a farm or something, but they look kind of lonely and they don't look in the best of condition. It's quite sad, really. So about halfway through the walk now, I think. Um, just another mile, mile and a half to go. It hasn't been too difficult so far, so hopefully it stays that way. So you know how I was saying it was going quite easy? Yeah, I've been going, we've been going downhill for a while now and it's starting to really hurt my knees a bit. I guess that's the problem when you have dodgy knees. Just finished the walk, took about half, half an hour, three hours in total. Um, 
that's partly down to the fact that I got lost halfway through. Um, yeah, just took the wrong path and yeah, long story short, I got really lost. But yeah, I think if I didn't get lost, it would have taken about two hours. So yeah, always look at your signs when you're walking around. The actual walk itself, it's not too difficult. Um, it does get a bit up and downhill towards the end, so maybe it's not best for everyone, but I think most people should be able to complete it fine. Um, I'm not going to sign off the vlog just yet. Got one more thing to show you guys. So guys, this is what I wanted to show you. This is called the Millennium Stones um, in Grafton Park. It was given to the park by the Jerusalem Trust to mark the turn of the millennium. Each stone is supposed to represent 200 years. Um, I guess it's Saudi's version of Stone Age, just a lot less spectacular. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment on the video for more stuff, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.